Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam Karaoke. If you're new here, and um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Feel loved, feel comfortable, and I love visitors. So welcome to my community of YouTube. If you are a returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. Thank you for continuing supporting my content and for loving me for who I am and yeah i appreciate you so in today's video i feel like crying i feel a little bit emotional because i never really knew that one day i'll be seated in front of you guys and sharing this with you like we are one you we are in our one year like full year what does today go out of content Anyway, it's been it's been a tough one it's been an amazing one it's been um, an emotional one and sometimes disappointing but you know what we still we keep on moving we keep on pushing and i am here i am in my one year and we are almost 400 subscribers what i am so thankful guys i am so grateful that you've been with me since day one till now and bado tunaendelea tukiongezeka so if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe you're going to love you you're going to love it here and also you're going to enjoy it. but you know what we are in our one year one year one year one year i am super excited guys don't blame me i am excited and i am forever grateful so without further ado i'm just going to show you guys not show you but I'm going to share with you guys like what I've learned in my one year journey of being a YouTuber, a content creator on all, and also being on YouTube. So that's why I want that's why I want us to do what that's what I want us to do today. Learn something. And if you're an upcoming YouTuber, just click on this video and just share with other guys and people who want to learn from youtube and maybe one of Kofa, Kwanza and all that but these tips that i'm going to give you guys or what not really tips but what i've learned in my one year can will really help you through and also encourage you so yeah let's just get into the video guys a few tips that i wrote down for youtube and uh, what i've really learned through this journey it has been an amazing one for sure it's fun it's fun but it's also tough it's like if you hear people saying until they're leaving their eight to five job like eight a.m to five p.m jobs and just concentrating on youtube it's because making content is hard it's not it's not easy making content and also you know you have to make content that will will be beneficial to your viewers um for me the first challenge i think that i i got while starting till now because i started last year in april um when uh, it was Corona Nguyenianza, so we were on lockdown, and I really didn't have anything to do. Um, so I decided, ah, what else can I do? I have a camera, I have the equipment, so let me just start this thing. And I started well, and like I was giving content all the time. And if you see my first like five videos, I think they are more than is it four hundred views above 400 views and i was doing well and i think i was even sharing with i was i was i think i even i was posting the videos like every every three days after every three days 
every day is up after every three days every day is up and i was excited <laughs> this thing is so easy ah my friend when i went back to work i couldn't get time of recording i couldn't do anything so i remember um there was a time i just went silent i think from june to i think june or somewhere in august so once the lockdown was over i couldn't get time for the first for the for like three months or three to two months i couldn't get time to record it was tricky work was so overwhelming and i was like what i am failing in this thing of youtube like it wasn't meant for me so what I need to do while what we need when we succeed, because <laughs> when I can't leave my job, <laughs> I can't leave. I don't have any source of an, another source of income because I can't just leave my job like that. At the concentrate on YouTube, na bado si jana kulipwa. What can I do? Si na kujokta kufuzo kwa nani na landlord kwa nyumba because I haven't paid rent. But anyway that's my journey so i am talking to you guys about my journey and i just want you to learn one or two things that you can you can actually put in practice and something that you'll be able to to something that will motivate you to keep on going and to keep on doing just what you love and in this case i'm not really talking about Okay, yeah, I know I'm talking about what I've learned in my one year of YouTube, but also these are pointers that you can also use outside there in that business, in that work, in that um, something, that goal that you really want to start, but you are in fear that what will people show, say about me, what will people think about me, and yet just know whatever you start, whatever you do, you're not doing it for people but you're doing it for yourself and you remember there's something there's someone out there that's going to benefit out of what you have created out of your hard work someone out there if you're starting a business you'll always have five loyal customers i've done business um i'm also an entrepreneur on my side but you will always get those even if it's two loyal customers and you will always know whatever stock you bring they will always come to you and get something from you so a turn an hour to 50 what they're thinking about you just leave it but remember those two you're working hard for yourself and those loyal people around you so these pointers are not just for youtube or for youtubers or content creators because also we have uh, different categories of content creators it might be social media it might be youtube it might be um just guys out there in business you know like there are so many things that we can do us as youth and us as young people but the one thing that makes us not do it is fear and what people will say or what people think about us and it's never fair because we're not doing justice to ourselves so my number one pointer is okay if you see me looking down as just now i'm looking at my phone i have my phone here that's where i've written down the pointers um so my number one point is you have to be consistent but again you need a you need to take a break um cons i've just learned that consistency in on youtube or consistency or consistency on anything your project um your business your social media there has to be a type of consistency but it's not it's it's good because as i have told you guys um when i started I wasn't that busy so i was creating content like all the time all the time in like three days there's a video up a week there's a video up you know i was consistent but it got to a point that i just went silent for like two months and i it wasn't um a choice that i had made because also you also look at the priority 
yes youtube is a priority to me but also my work is a priority but that time when i went silent there was too much tension and too much so many things that i had to do and therefore youtube wasn't really um my number one priority but it is a priority if you want youtube to be your full-time job or if you want um social media um anything your new business to be to reach to that place you really want it to reach you have to be consistent consistent in terms of if you're selling clothes you need to go get stock you need to you need to sell you need to take those photos and post on 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 your pages you know there's just that consistency but you should also take a break you should also take a break trust me you if you always push yourself push yourself you'll get overwhelmed and you'll get tired and it will get to a point that you just shut completely so taking a break remember don't get me wrong consistency is key to anything it is key to anything but you need a break you need a break from social media you need a break from friends you need a break from mm, what else do people take breaks for because i know I've, I've tried this thing of social media like i'm not going on ig i'm not posting anything and actually it's really when when it gets to that point of a comeback when you come back to it you will feel relaxed and you will feel your mind will have will have will have your mind will be sober for one and you'll also be able to create more as much as we want to really put things out there but we can't always like um easy easy tunatunacho tunatumia mwili we are using this is flesh it's not mbao or stones or anything that that doesn't get tired we are flesh and we get tired our bodies get overwhelmed sometimes so taking a break my dear it's not something wrong don't let anyone blame you don't let um things get so tight for you that you can't and like you're really pressured that you can't take that break no don't feel pressured by anyone don't feel pressured by anyone so consistency is key but also taking a break is key it gives you it gives your mind it makes your mind create more and it makes it helps you when it comes to ideas it helps you um be productive in other great ideas and share whatever you have uh, my number 2 is don't concentrate on the views that you're getting <laughs> i know i know i know i know um if you post a video and man it's not doing well like unona you posted 21 hours ago and you just have five views <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have been there. This is something that has really stressed me out and because there was a time nikasema I'm not posting any other videos, but these videos get to where I want them to, to get. So in all of my videos I have like I think five five videos that haven't gotten like good viewership and they are less than 100. And that is something that puts me off no na like mbona watu waone video you know like you're pressuring yourself kwani what did i do wrong is of to zote like it's fine it's fine don't don't make don't concentrate on the viewership you just give content good content and the viewership your viewership will continue growing every other day your viewership grows every other day there's someone watching your video in this world 
sorry for that noise so do nani on tiktok so i've always learned to give my best in all the videos your best is your time your best is give good content your best is make your video good good quality that is your best so always give your best to any video number 3 you have to put in hard work and creativity for you to grow on youtube um hard work make sure you're able to don't okay i've talked about taking a break but don't take a break that will make you will make your subscribers forget about you don't take a break for for more than a month that's my advice don't take a break for more than a month Yes, um people have been getting your content let's say uh maybe you're free and you're also able to give content like every other week. So, uh, so you've given content for the past 3 months, people have been receiving your your videos, they have been watching your videos like on a Jai wiki kuna video ya Mjani na come up and they're excited, they're looking forward to it. And then you shut kabisa you go silent for 3 months <laughs> you even get some of your subscribers trust me you i've i've done this okay i haven't gone i've never i don't think i've cause i've taken like two breaks since i started youtube um for like a whole month so two months those are two months but not uh, continuously but um i took one in april i think april i didn't post any video this april last month i didn't post any video and then i took another one i think last year so two months and also i can take like a week or two away and then i i make a comeback but don't take three months four months six months and then you expect people to still recognize you what do you mean to go me go by sana so make sure to what is it called make sure to be consistent so work hard put in work this is a work when you hear people um they're leaving their jobs to concentrate on youtube it's because they are, they want to put in work and they want it to pay off yes youtube really pays and it pays so well but make sure you quit that job or you quit that business knowing that a youtuber started paying you usifungiwe nyumba so <laughs> work and creativity it's the best thing or it's the best way to grow on youtube number 4 is you don't have to start youtube with all perfect equipment start with what you have and you're good to go when i i was lucky that when i started youtube i had I had a camera cause it has it was it was my goal to always start YouTube and it was also my goal to buy a camera so I bought my camera in December 2019 and I was excited that's when I started now my YouTube in April 2020 and it was an an exciting feeling and I really liked it I really liked it but this uh this day's phones have really good quality you shouldn't uh, um you shouldn't push yourself so hard and then you, you don't push yourself so hard that you can't start that youtube because you don't have a camera you don't need you don't even need a camera there you, if you see those people who have like a million one and one one million and above subscribers they didn't start with equipment most of them okay the ones i know they didn't really start with equipment so alianza na simu simu tu and then unajua simus for kitambo so they were really that good so unless you are i think iphone was like the best okay so i think but it is simu zingine za android they were not that good and imagine someone say they have a million plus subscribers and they all started with a simple phone simu 
So just pick up that phone, place it somewhere, start recording yourself, and just post that video. You'll never know where it will head. You'll never know where it will take you. And you'll never know who will watch it until you try it, until you post it. So don't push yourself so hard that I need a camera, a good quality camera, I need a tripod, I need a microphone. Like me, all my videos that I record, I, I don't even have a, a microphone till now. Thank God I have a camera which gives me good quality, but I don't really have a microphone. So sometimes in my videos, you can hear echo or you can hear like my sound changes to Unezona last week's video it was so good the sound was so good but this week it's just pathetic i have i'm not perfect even the videos that i've done they're not perfect i can't say that they have been a hundred percent but i've given out my all and i've given out um, what i can and the resources i have with me so that's what i'm using i know i'll get a microphone somewhere along the way and also i don't even have lights i use such a tiny light which sometimes national balance like national balance light so sometimes it might be too much or sometimes it might be so kidogo or you know like those things they, this these things are not perfect they're just not perfect so just use whatever equipment you have just use that phone Fungwa madirisha zote utaona. <laughs> Fungwa madirisha zote utapata, utapata light enough. Amu wakishe bal, utapata light enough. And as long as you just balance nicely. So you're okay. Don't push yourself so hard. Don't push yourself so hard. Okay. My other point is always know and plan what you're going to talk about don't appear in front of the camera before you prepare yourself i have learned to prepare myself like you see now i wrote notes to come share with you guys of what i of what i've learned in my one year i have i wrote them down single kuja melenyu alafu i'm like and the other point is nianze kuzuba nianze kufanya nini like even you guys will get bored with me so always write what you're going to, to talk about plan yourself plan your recording know how your setup is going to be um like today in my video i've just decided to use a plain wall as you can see so know how your setup is going to be if you're doing a selling video know your outfits know this is going to follow this if you're doing um like a talk video like the one i'm doing right now know what you're going to talk about know your point your pointers and make sure they come out they come out productively and they come out nicely so don't confuse your audience don't confuse your viewers just make sure you plan yourself plan your videos plan your content make sure you are able to write to to write down whatever you want to share to the world so so um know know your it's called your niche i think so know your niche or know your what your viewers like because of me what i've noticed is um makeup or style or or videos that i just sit down and share with you guys depending on what i'm talking about they really have good viewership or even also they could choose the videos they really have good viewership and just know your niche and you're good to go at least you and also don't confuse your viewers because i think on this channel you guys know that um i talk about makeup i talk about food um i talk about god's word I talk about travel, okay, of which so far I haven't done any video of traveling because I haven't traveled of late. And also I talk about like lifestyle, just healthy living, how just lifestyle, everything to do with lifestyle. So those are the things that I really talk about. But um, what I've really done, like since day one till now, what I've done is makeup and uh, cooking, 
and outfits and God's word, like those, and also part of lifestyle, but I haven't really concentrated on it. But those are the things that I've done. And you will see, like every time you post a video, you will see which video does really well. Which video, like, would I post videos I and in the next one hour, you have like 50 views. You get, you will know your niche. So whatever video you post, just concentrate on it and check what your viewers really want to see and really want to learn and want to get from you. So just just be keen. Be keen with every video you make. Be keen with your viewers and your audience. Just be keen. <clears throat> um, okay, my other point is appreciate your view, your viewers all the time. Make your viewers feel at home because every every video that I make, whenever I start a video, I always welcome you guys and I also I also welcome the new the comeback um, subscribers and also the new subscribers or anyone that okay you haven't subscribed but you watch the videos. So I usually say <coughs> I welcome my viewers and make sure you feel comfortable and feel at home so learn how to appreciate your viewers learn how to appreciate um um those people who have liked your video those people who have subscribed you know just make your viewers or make your subscribers feel comfortable and just youtube youtube is a community and this this um Whatever subscribers, the number of subscribers I've gotten, they are my community and I learned to appreciate them and it's good. Appreciate your viewers. It's 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 something that I've learned and it's something that is really is really encouraging even to those people who watch your videos. <laughs> my other point, unhappy comparison. What do I mean by unhappy comparison? I mean comparing your YouTube with other people's channel. I was like that at the beginning. Mbaka nika atakuangalia channel za watu. I was so tired. I couldn't post a video without looking at someone else's videos. Like without looking at someone else's page. I couldn't do that. Baka I had to tell, I, ha I had a meeting with myself and I was like, girl, mm -mm, you can be doing this because you'll never grow on YouTube. So don't compare your videos with other person's video. If maybe, let's say you and your pal just started the YouTube channel and your pal is really doing well more than you. First of all, don't be jealous because we all grow, we all grow differently. We all, our our growth comes differently and it actually comes in different ways or maybe your pal started working with brands and then you you're still there no brand has approached you you know like don't compare yourself with other people's videos do you do things your own way and do things the way that you feel that you feel you're comfortable with so don't 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 get mad because your pal's videos or her subscription has gone up more than you and first of all maybe at all like you haven't even been consistent like <laughs> this is my or anyone as if you haven't been consistent but you're pissed because your pal post video they post videos every other week and they're doing better than you like mule at the same time but yeah kona more than a thousand subscribers but you you're still there at 300. please girl boy man <laughs> man or woman just don't compare yourself even in life don't compare yourself our growth our maturity our our breakthroughs and what else we can't we can't always be blessed together we can't cut the question if we could have we could be growing the same time 
with my friend or with my neighbor or with people around me we couldn't be where we are and that's why god created us different so yeah just don't compare your videos with other people's videos that may stop to my millet of last year so say i just post a video and it gets the viewership it gets and i I continue creating content, I create content every other time. But if you if you keep on concentrating on what your friend is doing or what the way they have succeeded and you're not succeeding, you won't go anywhere because it's like you're working for you're working for them and you want to show that you can be better than them. So just don't do that. It's not a thing and it's not cute. So don't do that. Be unique and be yourself. Exactly. <laughs> My point and we don't took Sema. Be unique and be yourself. Your own way, not someone else's way. Do things your own way. Work your own way. The way you create content, it's not the same way that the other person creates content. The way you um maybe you're you're so perfect, like perfect in terms of lighting. Of equipment you have everything like when you let say you're the real og when it comes to quality like you have it all done so perfectly but there's this other ninja over here like when i tumia simu sir at a simu it's me i'm going to a camera i'm sorry when i tumia zile simu that ene but their quality is both and they're doing better than you ah man don't compare yourself. <laughs> do you, man? Do you? Do you? And be happy. Be happy of every video that you make. Be happy. Because trust me, as you continue in this journey of YouTube, your viewers will, they get to learn you and they get to know you. So they will know if you're doing something to, to make someone else jealous or you're doing something to so that you can compare yourself with other people uh, our two you guys are you guys are dangerous like you know everything you're dangerous baby um this point that i'm going to say i feel like i've said it um like when i was starting but i'll still say it if you didn't hear it so you don't have to upload a video weekly or every day or every month it's not a rule that you have to abide to. It's not a YouTube rule that you have to abide to. CRT, when you don't post a video this week and you post it next week, something will happen to you. No, it's not a law. So just go with your own pace, go with your own speed, and go with your time as well. Because some of us have so much time that we can be able to create content every week. But still some of us me being one of them we we love creating content but also time is a question because of work or business or other things so even getting time to record might be tricky but when you have when you get the time or when you get the chance you just record like five videos and you're good to go so me speaking on on my side and speaking on what i have learned <coughs> I, I I don't really like being pressured because I've told you there was a month like actually April 32 currently last month I didn't post anything and people were asking me hey it's how with YouTube funny what happened and what happened and I know like you have the camera you have the time but also in a Fikanga point like you don't actually feel like recording anything you just want to be you you just want to take your time and you just don't want to post anything so in april that's where i was crt i was busy like busy like completely yes i was busy but not that busy but also i wasn't like feeling it i wasn't getting that vibe or psych of recording so it's good you take your break you don't have to, it's not a rule it said youtube you may be like you need to post a video 
like every other day, every other week, every other month. No, it's not at all. So just do you. My other point is give your viewers a reason to subscribe to your channel. So why people watch videos on YouTube, it's always they really they want some of them come on YouTube to look for a solution. So you will know <coughs> you will you have to make videos that know that they will help someone out there. Don't just make videos for the fun of making videos. Yes, these things are fun. Some things once in a while you need to make those fun videos but also once in a while make a video that will help someone or it will encourage someone out there or a video that will change someone's life out there so just make video and give your subscribers a reason to subscribe to your channel and to continue watching you more continue building the community give them a reason to okay build a community or around your viewership as i've told you um before um i feel like i've talked about this again but youtube is a community it's a community of people around the world different nations so they just come together and they watch your content and they appreciate you it doesn't matter the country or the culture you are in but they appreciate you and it's something that just people love to see and actually if you have good viewership that and if you have good viewership and um your subscribers are like wako juki double like a million and something it shows that you've really taken your time on this thing and also they have been they have been getting a solution that they know when they come to Marian Karaoke's channel they will get a solution in this and this thing. They will get a solution about fashion. They will get a solution about makeup. Like what new, uh, what new, like an example of makeup, what new beauty products are there? Like where can they get offers and all those things? So it's good. Like build a community in a community that you can rely on. Uh, it's cause cause YouTube YouTube na juha to juanangi like you can't no yes you see people's names especially on the comment section but you wouldn't like know people on a personal level so it's that's why I've told you guys learn how to appreciate your viewers learn how to tell them thank you learn how to make them come back and watch the next video so yeah. Um, the other point is confidence will come as you continue. <laughs> now, this this is a funny this is a funny point because when I started, I wasn't showing my face like hamdi or no soyango ever until I don't know what I think I did a makeup video and that was the first time that people actually saw me after like. A month or two of recording videos <laughs> and people wouldn't show, wouldn't see me like I could I could cook food but Munasketu Sautiang in the background and you couldn't see me. It was so funny because <laughs> people were telling me Acho Fala Bana able show yourself, show your face. We want to we want to know you. Like it was so funny because I I knew that when I show my face People are going to judge me for for one and also I was camera shy. Okay, I do media. What I do, I usually I'm usually behind the cameras, not in front of the cameras. But here, YouTube you have to show yourself. You have to show your face. You need to communicate with your viewers. I was like, damn, I need to do this. And if you look at my first, actually that makeup video I, I did, I wasn't even, yes, I was being seen, but I wasn't talking. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't talking. I was just, <laughs> it's so funny. Like, isn't your YouTube, YouTube in a kupatianga opportunity and you just, but look at me now. I am here in front of you guys talking to you and I'm not shy. I can say anything 
and I can do anything without fearing. Like at some point, I really thank God because I started. I I I, I thank God for He enabled me to start this channel. And reason why I thank Him is because size your copy. I'm not like freaking out when I'm in front of the camera. I am. I am excited to sit in front of you guys and talk to you. You know, I'm excited when I'm when I'm. Uh, what is it called? <clears throat> when I'm choosing the background I'm going to use. You know, it's it's something that excites me, and it's something that makes me really look forward even to posting that video. So I'm confident. So confident. Don't worry about your confidence. You start. You begin. Don't worry about what people will say about you. No, if you do that, you'll never move forward. You'll never move forward. You need to come out of your comfort zone and just dare yourself to do that thing. Dare yourself to go out there and share your abilities, your goals, and your, your whatever you want to share with people out there. And you'll be able to get more comfortable with time because time tells it all time tells it all and time heals it all it it it's it's amazing it's amazing man it's amazing so confidence will come pole pole it will, it will come um hard work does be hard work pays you record those videos post those videos and trust me you your viewership will grow your subscription your subscribers will grow and also god willing you'll get to that point that where youtube begins to pay you so it's a process everything in life is a process um just start your channel don't wait for the right time there's never a right time start that channel start the journey start writing that song there's never a right time if you tell me as i said i was lucky i started my youtube channel when i just bought a camera god knew that i really want to do this and i've also been postponing i've told you imagine if i started that time that i had, I had written a goal of i want to start a youtube channel in 2017 i think i'll have like a million subscribers or something but I didn't. I didn't start that time. I started in 2020. I started in 2020, and trust me, you. It's never that easy. I won't lie to you. Excuse me. It's never that easy. But start it. Start it. Don't wait on anyone. I think we are all mature and all grown ups that you are able to make your own decisions. So start it. Start it as long as it's it's something that you want and as long as it's 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 something that you have prayed for because also if you want to start something that you haven't prayed for it's going to be a little bit tricky so pray for all your projects pray for that that one thing that you really want to start that one thing that your heart is has pray to pray about it and commit it to god and he will give you direction trust me you god will direct you um my last point is time magnifies your results or time yeah time magnifies your results um and what do i mean by this um you will see yourself growing every other day every other time i've told you like when i when i started i was really fearful and i really didn't have confidence being even in front of the camera or talking you know <laughs> when you're when you're record when you're recording yourself it's like you're talking to yourself how do you to when you're not delicious so you're just talking to yourself and but when you get when you post that video and then you will see the viewership like it's it's really exciting and it shows that people watch you people listen to you people listen to your content and people appreciate your content so time magnifies everything time makes everything perfect you don't have to to kwarakisha vitu au fai kwa si si bok ya rakisha vitu but take a step at a time and you'll be able to get where you want to get and you'll be able to achieve what you want to achieve but 
time makes everything perfect all the way through it's like and and we need we also we don't have to work under pressure just work with your own speed god's speed is the best work with your own speed if you can't if you like me let me give you an example of me i'm never comfortable recording a video when someone is looking at me okay i'm about to learn that how i'm going to do it because with time years to come let's say i'm married and all those things and so sir but i can't record a video because my husband is there i'm the kids are there it's something that i need i need to learn but since uh now at the moment i'm all alone let me just do me <laughs> let me record videos as many as i can and when i'm comfortable because now i'm comfortable i'm comfortable recording these videos alone without anyone watching over me or without anyone looking at me i am comfortable so just be comfortable take your time and at the end of the day we are all going to grow and also we are also um let's make and let's not make choices out of pressure or out of someone who wants us to just make those choices let's make choices out of ourselves and what makes us happy our our joy is the our joy is what will keep us going and also my viewers you guys your joy is what will keep me going when you guys encourage me when you guys ask me where are videos you haven't posted anything for a while like we need content because there's so many of you who have been asking me like we need to learn this from you uh please advise on this and this and this and i really try my best to uh record those videos okay there are some i haven't done but i'll still do them but what i have done and what i've created out there at least you get people appreciating it you know so start this thing do your best work hard and don't feel pressured from anyone or from anything you'll be okay you'll be fine if you are a starting youtuber if you find any trouble in starting or anything just uh, you can dm me you can you can and um, my email is usually on the description box so you can the, you can email me and just if you want advice just tell me let me know and i got you i got you so i'm going to read a quote as i finish a quote by sean carnell he's also a youtuber uh but mainly he talks about film and cameras and uh, what else i think film and cameras anything to do with media like anything to do with equipment yeah so you can check him out on his channel so i quote what he said success on youtube is found when you use your experience okay success in youtube is found when you use your experience your passion and skills to add real value to the lives of others so use your experience use your skills because our skills are never the same with that other person so use your experience use your skills and your passion if you're passionate about youtube trust me you're going to make it but if you're not if you're doing this for someone else and not fast for yourself yeah that's a fail so yeah so that's a quote from a youtuber who has more than a million subscribers Yes, I've told you I nakongana what when I really look up to and also he does things that I do like in real life in my field uh, of film and uh, that's that's like people who I really look up to. So without further ado, I am done. I am excited. I am excited for this new chapter and I'm really looking forward to the growth to the community to the videos um like the content the content I know should be like 
top notch now because I've been there for like an year and I've learned some things. <laughs> so yeah, I pray for the best and I pray that God will help us through, will guide us through and also will show us through the way of this life and this journey that I am ready to work with you guys. So I am happy that we are one year. Congratulations to us. So congratulations to you guys. Because I couldn't actually do it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you and I love you all so very much. But now we need those people to subscribe. We need to grow. We need to grow this community. This community, it has to grow. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share with your friends, share with your families, share with your grandma. Share with your parents, share with your brothers and sisters, tell them to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There's this content creator on YouTube who has amazing content and I've told you, tell those people to watch out because this second year or this second term of mine, it's gonna be lit, it's gonna be lit, it's gonna be lit. So make sure you subscribe, like this video if it has been beneficial to you make sure um, you show some love and also all the points that I've given you please make good use of them and also I pray that as you start that journey that business as you go for that interview you are able to kill it and this year 2021 and 2022 huh? Yeah, 2021 and 2022 till we meet again the second year. Let's walk through together and let's perfect our lives and let's perfect our work all the way through. We will be, we will make it and we will be able to do everything so well and so perfectly. Nasikia watoto wa metoka nje, wana pigia kelele. So let me stop my recording there and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, take care of yourself. I love you and yeah keep on praying keep on pushing bye